So did Kelly Rowland walk out of the, of the Today Show because her dressing room wasn't up to par? Is Kelly Rowland a diva now? Well, according to a new report, that's exactly what happened recently on the set of the Today Show. Apparently, Kelly Rowland walked out due to dressing room issues. Welcome back to the Kempire Channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. As you can see, I'm still in Washington, D.C. This is the day after our sold out show at Union Stage. So amazing meeting all of you. Incredible energy and so much fun. Again, shout out to Taria Faison from What Else Is Going On Pike podcast. Lexi T, who's from Washington, D.C. and performed the hell out of those songs last night. Shout out to DJ Richie Sky, who came through. And shout out to all of you that were in the building and showed so much love and support. And we had a great time. We talked about a bunch of stuff. But we did not talk about this Kelly Rowland story because I didn't really see it or get the details until after the show. So why not talk about it now? So as you know, I love Kelly Rowland. If you follow me here on YouTube or any other platform, I've shared, I always share a beautiful timeline cleanse, a beautiful photo of our girl, Kelly Rowland. And I know a lot of people think, oh, you just like her because she's pretty. No, I think part of what makes Kelly Rowland beautiful is her energy. It's interviews I've seen with her. It's what she has always exuded. So I know some people are going to say, Kemper, you're a little biased because you like Kelly Rowland. Well, I like Kelly Rowland not just because she's a beautiful woman. I like Kelly Rowland based off of what we've seen over time in regards to her behavior. But as always, I'm fair and I'm going to read to you what the rumors are saying in regards to what went down at the Today Show. So page six is reporting this. They said that Kelly Rowland dramatically walked, off, walked out the NBC's Today Show on Thursday morning after the star thought her dressing room was not up to snuff, according to sources. They said that the R&B singer and actress was the guest on the 8 a.m. hour of today and was then expected to fill in for Jenna Bush Hager in the fourth hour as a guest host of the Today with Hoda and Jenna. Roland, however, dropped out at the 11th hour because her dressing room wasn't up to par and she left Hoda Kotb scurrying to find a replacement, sources told Page Six. All right. And the, the replacement was Rita Ora. All right. So they actually show uh, um, photos of the dressing room situation backstage. And I'll, I'll post them somewhere here. So according to a source, they said that Kelly and her team were not happy. They did not like the dressing room, so they decided to pull her off the show, leaving Cotby without a guest host for the 10 a.m. hour. A source familiar with the situation told Page Six. Roland was on the show to promote her new Tyler Perry produced Netflix movie, Mia Copa, in which she stars and also is a producer. Sidebar, Michelle Williams, even Jay-Z and Beyonce all went to support this film and Kelly recently in New York City. They really, really support her. Like, I mean, look, they all grew up together, so I'm not surprised that they are just like sisters and they're supporting each other, but I just loved seeing it. Even with everything that's going on with Beyonce right now, she always shows up for Kelly and Michelle. So they said Roland was on the show to promote her, that, that movie, Mia Culpa, Tyler Perry produced movie, Mia Culpa. Sidebar, I did find it interesting, and I forgot to mention this last night as well, that Oprah and Tyler Perry, as you know, they've been the brunt of Monique in her recent interview with Club Shay Shay, they're actually doing sort of like this own interview. They're not talking about Monique, <laughs> if, if, if that's what you thought they were going to talk about, no. They're talking about some of his childhood traumas and how he's dealt with that and how he's come, you know, full circle from that. But I just found it to be interesting timing. But it's also, he has a new movie to promote. So Roland, according to them, Roland abruptly exits, uh, exit left. Today's insiders perplexed because she's beloved at today. She was getting the full hour and Hoda's biggest hype woman on the planet. It made no sense, a source said. They continue, they said, Roland and her team played a dramatic game of musical dressing rooms, we hear. 
They inquired about a green room upstairs because they didn't like the one she was in. Unfortunately, the upstairs room was occupied by Jennifer Lopez. And if you know, if you've been a gossip or a person interested in gossip for a very long time, rumors about J-Lo being a diva for years have circulated her. I haven't heard recent rumors of J-Lo being a diva, but for years they said they ha she had to have white linen, she had to have this and that. And even J Jennifer Lopez, when you see her, again, this is what they're giving to the world, she doesn't seem like a diva. But women always get this connotation of being divas when they just expect the bare minimum. It's like, oh, she she had to have certain things. Look, you don't hear these rumors about men ever. And I'm telling you, some of them, based on me working behind the scenes and working with other people that tell me stuff, makeup artists, photographers, telling me stuff about some of the men that you love and adore, they are the biggest divas. <laughs> some of them, not all of them. Anyways. So they said Roland and her team played a dramatic game of musical dressing rooms, okay? They said they inquired about a green room upstairs because they didn't like the one that she was in. Unfortunately, the upstairs room was occupied by Jennifer Lopez, who arrived to the studio prior to Roland to promote her new album, This Is Me Now, and her accompanying film project, The Greatest Love Story Never Told. Dressing rooms that today are known to be some of the smallest in the TV industry, practically glorified closets, as one source put it. They, someone says, they're not nice. It's the oldest building. It's also New York City, so everything's small. There are major space limitations. It's not glamorous. It's not fresh flowers and candles and gourmet food. It's basically a white box, shared a TV source. Still, we're, t we're told today producers offered Roland several other options, including multiple talent dressing rooms and some much larger utility makeup and hair areas. Mm -mm. Here's the thing. Well, you know what they could have offered Kelly? Why not get her a conference room? I know they have conference rooms at the studios there. Get her a conference room. Make You make it happen. But literally, we watched on Renaissance that with all the success and money and fame and just history that even Beyonce has, people are still downplaying her knowledge, still treating her as if she can't Google something and figure out, sir, you're... You're not giving me the full story. You're still not respecting my thoughts, opinions, and wants and needs. So I wouldn't be shocked that it's happening to Kelly Rowland, okay? So they says they didn't want that. The show basically offered up as much as possible, but they weren't happy with it. So they walked and they left. Thankfully for Cotby singer, Rita Ora volunteered and filled in for Roland. We hear she happily took a dressing room similar to the one briefly occupied by the former Destiny's Child star, reps for today, and Roland did not comment. Look, you know I always try to give grace to anyone that we report on. I really do. It doesn't matter who it is, if I like them, if I don't like them, you never really know. But I want to give Kelly grace because we've never, ever heard of Kelly Rowland having issues behind the scenes. Even from people that I have heard, I've never heard of this. So for this to be a story, this to be a headline, it's very easy, especially as a female in the music industry, in the entertainment industry, as a black woman in, in the entertainment industry. We're just talking about this Monique. It's very easy to paint the picture she's being problematic for asking for the bare minimum of a decent room for me as someone that's co-hosting your show today. I'm not just coming on as a guest. I am co-hosting. Because even I, you know, doing this tour and things like that, I don't, you know, expect a lot, but I expect at least somewhere we can get ready and prepare for a show but you just you're never going to probably hear about a man expecting certain things but if a woman did it it's a whole other thing it's a whole other thing we know that and it's important that we continuously talk about it because it's still a thing how many years later we're still saying this about women but i'm still gonna ride with kelly and i know based on what we know of kelly i'm pretty sure she will address this as well what do you guys believe as always, let's continue this conversation in the comments section. And if you were at the Washington DC show, let everyone know and let me know if you had a good time in the comments section. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. You bring the fire. I got the fuse. You make a fire. I'll ask you. Follow